Hi, I'm Stephanie with Board Game Geek here at Origins 2017. Joining me is Rob Doherty with hey. White Wizard Games, and uh, we're going to talk about a couple of games, but first let's talk about Hero Realms. Yeah, so uh, Hero Realms is, uh, for those who haven't tried it, it's a deck building game. It uses the same basic engine as Star Realms, um, but uh, with the expansions, we're taking it in a whole new direction. So currently available are the character packs, so you can play as a fighter or a thief or a cleric or a ranger or a wizard. And cool. when you play as one of these characters, you have a custom starting deck. You have special ability cards that are unique to your character. Um, so it uh, you start from different places, but uh, we balance them all to play against each other. Uh, this fall, we're coming out with the Ruin of Thandar campaign deck, and this uh, will transform Hero Realms from a player versus player game into a cooperative leveling deck building game. So you're going, every player will need to have a character pack, and you need to have the base game of Hero Realms, and you add to that the uh, campaign deck, and you will go on missions where everybody plays a character, um, and you work together to uh, fight the bad guys. Um, there are the bad guys are known as the, mas the master, and they are represented by these large cards here. And uh, this card will tell you uh, the starting health for the master, um, their special abilities, um, and on the back of the card you have the more powerful leveled up version. Oh, so no. as you're uh, <laughs> as you're building your deck during the course of the game, and your and the players' decks are becoming more powerful during the game, the master will become more powerful as well. Um, the setup for it is really fast. Um, basically, there's uh, uh, the game will come with some mastery cards, um, the setting cards, um, and uh, a set of cards for each uh, uh, encounter. And they all have these little icons on the bottom, so they're very easy to separate out. Yeah. And each each time you play, you're going to create the master's deck. And to do that, you take the mastery cards and shuffle them together with the uh, with the encounter cards. So encounter one, you use the cards with a little one on the bottom yep. of them. And then you add to that the setting cards. Um, if you're playing with five players, you use all the setting cards. If you're playing with less than five players, you take out three setting cards for each player you're down. Gotcha. And then shuffle all that together, and that becomes the master's deck. Uh, and the master gets set up, uh, set in a spot on the table, and the rest of the players sit around the table. And the order that you sit around the table is basically like your marching order for the party. Okay. Uh, and um, if a player is next to you, you can assist them. You can attack monsters that are in front of them. Oh, kind of like heal flanking. Them. And, yeah. yeah. So you yeah. have you have a you have a group working together, and if you're close to somebody, you can help them out. Um, the players uh, in the front, uh, on the uh, next to the master on one side or the other, represent the front and the back of the party. So you, they. Uh, uh, the, those two players are not next to each other, but everybody else will be uh, next to each other around the table. Um, uh, each turn, uh, the players will flip over the top card of the master's deck, and that will represent what the master is doing to them. It might be uh, might be a minion, uh, a champion that will attack them, um, and that would go in front of them and uh, and attack them each turn. Uh, it might be an elite minion that would go next to the master, and it, and those guys attack every single player on their turns. So the, the elite minions are particularly nasty. Uh, it might be a uh, it might be an action which would. Uh, do something, you'd read what it does, says on the card, and that'd be something that the, the master was doing that turn. Uh, or it might be a hazard, something that's affecting that particular player. Um, and so each player's turn, the master gets to go, so this makes the bad guys scale to the number of players you have. So if you yeah. have a two-player game, it's it's an even fight the against guy the bad guys. As much. Uh, if you have a five-player game, the, you know, the players get to go more, the bad guys get to go more. Right. Um, and when you finish a game, um, if you win, uh, you'll, uh, you might find treasure, uh, and there are treasure cards included in the box for every class. We have some example treasure cards here. They might be items, they might be champions uh, that help okay. you out. Some of them will replace existing cards you have in your deck. So for example, we have the veteran follower here, which is a improved version of the, the follower. Regular. It, uh, that comes in the cleric's deck, so this is uh, you get you get to take out the weaker one and put in the more powerful one. Okay. Um, some of them are cards that add to your deck, uh, like the arcane wand. Um, what if you weren't playing with the cleric? Would you not uh, put that one in so, there? So exactly. So basically, each one says which class they're for. So when uh, when players find treasure, um, it'll specify whether it's a class treasure. And if it's a class treasure, you take all the undiscovered treasures for your class, shuffle them up, and flip 
one, flip over one and that's what you'll get. Uh, gotcha. That's what you get. Yeah. Um, there are more treasures than you will find. So Smart. if you play through the campaign multiple times, you're going to have, uh, you're going to be able to find different items yep. uh, each time you play. Um, you will also earn experience points, and your experience points you can spend to improve your character. The character decks in, uh, in Hero Realms have special abilities. Some of them you expend to use, uh, and some of them you uh, sacrifice to use. And we've modified those for campaign play, so when, uh, when you open your box you'll have uh, campaign versions of cards like Pickpocket and Headshot yep. that came with the character packs modified to work with the campaign rules. Um, and we've also added levels to those. So the expendabilities we're referring to as, uh, as skills, mm -hmm. and those start at level one, and the, um, the uh, ones that you have to sacrifice uh, being referred to as abilities, those, while we have various levels of them, the one that comes in the starting deck is the level three ability. Uh, and when you gain an experience, you'll be able to improve your skill or ability. Um, and you, not only can you make it better, but you'll have multiple choices of which way you take it. So we've got we've got skill trees for these, so we have a ton of different oh, cool. cards. So you can improve your pickpocketing in various ways. Yeah. You can improve your fireball or various skills uh, yeah. in different ways with experience. You'll also be able to spend your experience to increase your uh, starting health, so you have a lot of options on how to improve your character over time. Uh, the game's gonna, on the back of the rule book, we'll have a character record sheet you can photocopy, and we'll have PDFs on the website you can download, so you can track the changes to your character. Yeah. Now, the, the stuff you're buying from the market uh, each turn, um, at the end of the game, all that goes back to the market deck, but the treasures that you find and the improved skills that you have, the stuff that's modifying your starting deck, that will stay with your character. So your character will get more and more powerful mm -hmm. mission after mission and uh, and of course the encounters get more challenging as right. well. Right, yeah. Um, about how many sessions do you think does this take? So the, uh, so the first set is going to contain, the one that's coming out this fall, is going to contain three encounters. Mm -hmm. um, and so basically the first, uh, the first three missions the players uh, will go on. Uh, it also contains um, uh, the, uh, the treasures that they can find on those three encounters. And it contains the, the skills that will take your character all the way through the entire campaign series. So basically all the skills your characters could possibly ever get gotcha. for the five character classes. Um, we're, um, this series of campaigns, um, the first box set's gonna have three encounters and all the stuff to improve your characters. Mm -hmm. And then in the, uh, the next three sets that we're doing, we'll have six encounters each. So it'll yeah. be a total, um, uh, over the series of the campaign, there'll be a total of uh, 21 encounters. Um, okay. And, uh, uh, but this first box set will be three. Each play session is, uh, each encounter takes about an hour and a half to play through one time. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the replay is phenomenal. So you can play it as a campaign where you play it each time you yeah. win, and then you advance and you keep track of your character, and that's sort of your official playthrough. Uh, but then it's a ton of fun to replay the missions. Um, uh, everything changes based on, uh, just like with a regular game of Hero Realms or Star Realms where right. things coming up differently in the market world can change things. But mm -hmm. here, the decisions you make in the campaign will affect later uh, later sessions, so they will play differently. You might even fight entirely different bosses in, in, uh, yeah. in various sessions based on what what happened earlier in the campaign, you'll be getting different uh, different items, you can spend your experience in different mm -hmm. ways, so there's a, a ton of replay for yeah. people who want to treat it like a board game and play those uh, cooperative encounters again and again. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Um, so for those people that know and are familiar with Star Realms but aren't really familiar with the Hero Realms, um, can you briefly just talk about what, are they just the same, or repeat, so, or are they just a little bit different? So with the base set, um, they are very similar. So uh, the game mechanics are the same. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so you start with a score, you gain uh, money or combat, you can right. use your money to buy new cards for your deck, and you use your combat to attack your opponent or their stuff. Yeah. Um, the uh, factions are different and have slightly different mechanics in yeah. them. The ratio of cards that you play and they just last for the turn versus cards that stay on the table and your opponent has to attack to get rid of okay. changes. So, okay. for example, Hero Realms has more champion cards than Star Realms has bases. Oh, okay. um, also, yeah. the uh, the Hero Realms decks, starting decks, are a little more powerful and the, and some of the cards in that you buy are a little more powerful, so the game has a little faster ramp uh, okay. to it, than, but 
if you know how to play Star Realms, you will know how to play Heroes. Yeah. The base set is designed to be very easy to learn, and for the people who like Star Realms, and maybe they're not hardcore gamers, they can pick Hero Realms up super yeah. fast. With the expansions, we're taking them in very different directions. Right. So, for example, Star Realms has nothing like this campaign. This that makes doing. sense with um, Hero Realms. Exactly. Stuff, Basically, yeah. we're we're doing things that make uh, you know make a lot of sense with mm -hmm. uh, various games. So it's very RPG, uh, level up character, you know. Exactly. Yeah, uh, so, uh, so yeah, we're and also the the custom character packs where you're playing mm -hmm. as a fighter or cleric or thief. Right. Yeah. Those, it feels very fantasy. Yeah. So, um, so basically, we are starting from the same place, and with expansions, we're taking them in to different uh, to different areas mm -hmm. that really match up well with their thing. And the art is it the same artist that did Star Wars? Um, well, we have there? a big team of artists and the art in this the so art inside is cards, yeah. yeah the art inside is gorgeous it, and we have uh, yeah, and there is cards. so much of it the box this box will contain 150 this, this is terrifying <laughs> 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 um, so uh, yeah the box will contain 150 yeah. uh, cards many of them are unique like the uh, the treasures are all unique the um, the skills uh, that the players get are unique some of the cards in the master's deck are uh, you know are common monsters that, that will repeat, but there's a lot of unique cards in there. Uh, and it also contains eight of these uh, oversized um, the, the uh, bosses, boss the cards. Uh, yeah. So um, so there is a, uh, a lot of content in there and a yeah. lot of gorgeous artwork. This, uh, this when we originally conceived of this product, it was going to be a 55-card uh, set mm -hmm. uh, because we can, we can do the... To create the master's deck with a relatively small number of cards, but then we got very excited about all the things Characters we could do with the treasures and, and the character up, yeah. advancement, and, and it just sort of grew. So I don't um, know that you, <laughs> my wizard, can really make a small card game anymore. Yeah, yeah, you guys so, just can't. Come on. Yeah, so Star we, Realms is, you know, this <laughs> it's in a long box with all the expansions. Yeah. So and uh, Realms you, should be no different. <laughs> we went a little crazy on, but it's it's great value. You get you get so many cards, yes. so much beautiful artwork, and the yeah. it's uh, it's just gonna be a, a twenty dollar expansion. So. Oh, wow. um, a huge that's amount awesome. of game for changes yeah. the game a ton. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So, um, twenty dollars. Where uh, what they can get that? You said the, this the, fall. This uh, that's be coming this fall. The files are at the printer now, okay. uh, uh, and uh, we we don't have an exact date yet because of you, you don't know exactly right. how long yeah. things take to print, yeah. ship, etc. But um, it should be for our. For people who backed on the Kickstarter, it should be coming in the early fall, okay. uh, end of summer time frame. And for people who, uh, for buying it in your local game store, should be out uh, a little bit before Christmas. So okay. it should be, uh, should be uh, end of the fall, Christmas season. Um, knock on wood, it should it's be hitting the hitting the shelves. Perfect game to get that friend or family member, or coworker that <laughs> already has Hero Realms. Indeed, then, for indeed. sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. And that is Hero Realms and its expansion, the campaign mode.